99 Jams, your girl, Super Cindy, and live in the studio, super excited, repping Jersey, <laughs> and she has her new her new hit single, BNFB. I got my girl, LeJay. Hey, hey LeJay. Girl, hey. Is this your first time to Miami? No, it's not my first time to Miami, but, you know, clearly my first time here, so hey, thank you for having me. Hey, 99 Jams welcomes you, girl. <laughs> y'all, the, y'all the first uh, radio station to break me out here, so Hello. it's cool. Hello, because cool. we... we are the station that breaks people. Okay. Okay. Y'all get <laughs> we on break it early. Hits. Hello. <laughs> so welcome. So we got a lot to talk about. So let's get into like the history of how did you get into music? Um, basically I have a friend, one of my good guy friends, he does music mm-hmm. and we've been friends for a really long time and he was always telling me like my voice is very aggressive, but it'll sound good on the track and I should try it. And at first I'm like, This guy is crazy. But um he wrote something for me, and then mm-hmm. I kind I like the feel. And so one day, like like a month into me rapping, he was taking too long to send me something that he was supposed to write for me. So mm-hmm. I just wrote something myself, and it came out fire. And then from I'm that like, point I can forward, write. yes, that's the moment. It was like, a, oh my god, I was like <laughs> discovering a new superpower because I was so shy going into the studio, mm-hmm. and there was so many people there. I'm like, oh my god, what if this is corny? What if they think this is whack? I'm about to, oh my <laughs> god, on. yeah. So yeah. I'm like, you know what? I'm gonna just do it. So I just did it, and when I came out, everybody was like, oh my God, that sounds so good, that sounds so good. And it was just like a big sign of relief, but then that just gave me the confidence to continue going and keep writing and, you know, pushing my pen, getting better, getting better, and doing what I got to do. Like, when you're in the studio, like, what is the vibe? Like, what do you need to make your studio session perfect? Um, Honestly, surprisingly, Mm -hmm. really just water. And, and water good. and tea, and I'm mm-hmm. good. Water and green tea, cause you know from rapping all night, and it sometimes like your throat get dry. Hello, pause. You know, mm-hmm. but you get a little like hoarse. <laughs> yeah, and then you need time. Like your voice is still a muscle at the end yeah. of the day, no matter how you're using it. So that's really it. I'm, I don't need liquor. I don't need yeah. weed. I don't need food. I'm good. I'm locked in. Just and give me some water. What about the ambiance? You need like your friends in the studio with you. Nah, you rather nobody. I'd be rather in there. nobody be you there the because engineer. I don't like nobody talking to me. I don't like nobody. <laughs> You focus. Yeah, throwing in their opinions, throwing off my thought process. You know, mm-hmm. I like to be clear-minded myself, the engineer. That's my second opinion right there. Mm-hmm. I don't really need nobody else there. Yeah. So so you um, you have two children. Yes. How old are they? My daughter is four and my son is one. They both about oh. to be the next The age, next. Though. They're, yeah. they're, they're, they're kissing five and two. <laughs> yeah, basically. Right, right. They're three days apart. So they'll be five and two in March. Yeah, How has um, being a mom, like... Ha, does that motivate you to just be greater than anything? Yeah, definitely, mm-hmm. definitely. Because it's like, even if like you know, some sometimes you might be off track and off schedule and mm-hmm. just completely a mess in life, mentally, emotionally, whatever. Yeah. And your kids don't even know; they just know that they looking at you to get it done. Like you know, mm-hmm. so that always motivates me to just be like, you know what? Why not really be the best me I can be for them so that I can guide them in the right way and lead them, you know, to to a positive way in life and give them something to really, really look forward, like be that role model. Like, I feel like people put the the pressure of being a role model on public figures too much yeah, not rather there. than focusing on themselves yeah. and really being that role model for their kids. Like, that's what I really Do like. they know that you do music? Yeah, my daughter does. My son, he's say? too young to yeah. know, but my daughter, she's like, she she be trying to sing the songs <laughs> and, um, you know, I, can, I walk in on her sing, like rapping my little songs With the or whatever. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And then she just gets really shy when she gets caught, but she likes it and she tells people, like, my mommy is a rapper. <laughs> I'm that like, what is so cool. Come on, don't tell your teacher that. Let's just go. <laughs> yeah. She tell, tell everybody at school. Yeah, she tell everybody at school. She tell everybody at school everything. She just be talking. That's why uh-huh. I got to make sure I keep the home environment healthy yeah. and safe because yeah. I can't stop her from talking. Hell All I can do is do my it job. Is what it right? Is, right? <laughs> so, to get into your children um their father is also mm-hmm. in the music industry yeah she tells everybody about him too at school <laughs> let everybody know who your who your father yeah. and the father of your children are um i think i'll let you do it i really oh, don't. okay i'm not into it like that oh, okay yeah. so the father of your children is fetty wap yeah did he does he ever speak to you about music like when you started getting into the music did he mm-hmm. ever give you advice or any input yeah yeah actually he did um when he first found out I did music, mm-hmm. I didn't tell him, like, yo, I want to do music. I just did my own thing. You know mm-hmm. what I'm saying? So he was on live and people was actually telling him. He like, what? He thought they was <laughs> tripping, <laughs> you know? So, um, like, a, I want to say, like, a couple, 
like maybe two weeks later, mm -hmm. um, he was at my house and I was just playing him the music that I was doing and like his face was just dropped. He was so shocked. Couldn't he was like, him. I'm not gonna lie, like this it's just good. Mm -hmm. Like it's really, really good. Like mm -hmm. keep going. And then um, you know, he just told me that he'll he'll help me. You know, if he if I need help from him, but yeah. you know, it's whatever. Yeah, like I want this on my yeah. own. <laughs> yeah, yeah, kind of. And then, um, you know, just another time, like we had a really intimate conversation. I was on the way to the studio, and I'm mm -hmm. like, yeah, I'm on the way to the studio to um work on some music. He like, don't we'll work on no song. Go make a hit. Go make a hit. Don't oh, don't think fun. about the like, next song. So it's kind of like coaching me, but um, you know, I try not to really use uh him to my advantage too mm -hmm. much because I really want to accomplish this on my own. You know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? It's like a cheat code and I, I'd rather just navigate and have my own path and my own journey with this whole music industry. Do you ever find it difficult like to be um, labeled or whatever in media and social media or whatever as Fetty Wap's baby mama and then you're yeah. trying to do music? <laughs> yeah, it is difficult but mm -hmm. you know, it is what it is. You know, mm -hmm. I, can't, I can't change it. Yeah. So it's like I, that's like me saying that's like me getting mad at somebody for saying that I'm pretty or something because yeah. it's a fact you know I look yeah, good so. <laughs> <laughs> no seriously though mm -hmm. but you know I can't get mad at it I just it does get annoying and yeah. like it's a little difficult to detach the two mm -hmm. because it's so much more to me than just than I don't look that. at that as an accomplishment yeah. you know what I'm saying even though you know I'm grateful for my kids I'm, yeah. I look at being a mom Your as an accomplishment are, yeah. yeah but not as being <laughs> Fetty Wap's baby mother an accomplishment yeah. that's regular like are you are you cool with any of the other um baby mamas like are your children friends with the sibling with their yeah. siblings and yeah everything? um i get along very well with his first baby mother mm -hmm. the baby mother before me because I'm, I'm his second baby mm -hmm. mother so i get along really well with his first baby mother and i get along very well with masika and um yeah that's that's the, it, it, girl, it's so many. I'm just trying to make sure I'm not forgetting like, nobody. Because the ones that I am cool with, like, we cool, cool. Yeah. So if I forget and they hit it, they be like, girl, why you wait? You why know I you love you, me? sis. Why you wait? Yeah. Cool. <laughs> yeah, like, what's the, we got a problem? No. But not nah, off the top of my head, That mm. that's, yeah, that's it. That's the only... Too. You know what's crazy is that about a year ago I interviewed Masika. She was here promoting mm -hmm. a product that she was pushing, mm -hmm. and she was just speaking about you know her daughter Kari. And I was mm -hmm. like, you and Kari on social media are, are like everything. Yeah, like, I love so watching cute. their videos. Mm -hmm. So it's cool to know that you're cool with Masika because yeah, I was talking about her easy. clap back game and it wasn't easy, girl. We had to go through <laughs> it because it it yeah, right? we was we was clawing at first, like oh, <laughs> yes, exactly. <laughs> but you know, once you um. Um, just put away all, all the differences yeah. and then just the the common barrier is the children exactly but moving forward i you know i realized that this this girl is a good person mm -hmm. she is not as bad as like people try to make her paint paint her out to as be the love and hip-hop yeah label. yeah yeah she's a, she's a sweet girl and yeah. um you know that's 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 my take on her like I'm I'm happy that it did happen better late than never that we put aside. Our yeah, I'm glad stuff. too for the, yeah. for the kids' sake. Yeah. So let's talk about the whole um, being in the music industry as a female. The wave mm -hmm. is just flowing it's the right time now. Right now. Are you cool with any other female rappers? Like you know like, anybody I'm, else? I'm cool with female rappers, but mm -hmm. not like so much like. Um, like I you know I don't know Nikki or nothing like yeah. that, but um, <laughs> like, like hello Nikki, yeah, what? like hey girl, what you doing? I'm in Miami, come on. Okay. So yeah, no, but um, you know I have I have a couple female rappers that are some more further than me, and yeah. some that haven't even you know as just getting to yeah. it, but you know they're they're uh, pursuing the same thing. So yeah, I'm cool with a couple female rappers. It it it'd be a drag to kind of name them right now, but mm -hmm. um. Chameleon, I met her last night. Oh, That's last her name, night, right? let's pop yeah, off. Yeah, so Chameleon's she's really fire. cute. I like her. I have mm -hmm. um, Cuban Dolls, my good friend as she's well. Um, you see, this why I don't want to forget nobody. Yeah, because then they're gonna be like, <laughs> like, like, oh, so you got interviewed right. in Miami and couldn't remember, right? Me. <laughs> oh, you got favoritism. It's no, all I, love. Yeah, you guys. it's all love. Yeah, yeah. but that, that that female wave. How do you feel about that female wave? You think it's it. easier with the female wave going, or is it harder because there's so many? No, I think that it is a combination of both. Mm -hmm. Like, everything is good and everything comes with good and bad, like yeah. the yin yang effect. Yeah. And as far as 
the female female rappers being so like powerful right now. It is the time as a female rapper to push yourself because it it, it took a lot for females to be respected in the uh, music industry in a male dominated industry. So, you know, it, while it's really while we really got that that got that stage, I think everybody should hop on it while they're trying to. But beware that it is competition. You know what I'm Hello. saying? Like these me and every other female that's rapping right now is not playing. They, everybody wants that serious. next spot. So the guys just better move yeah. out the way. Seriously. Yeah, they they've been moved out the way. You Get know what I'm here. saying? Yeah, they they've been out of I here. Think, so what's coming up for 2020 musically for you, Lejay? I have a lot of fun things coming up. I have a lot of things that I want to focus on, like excuse me, music and things outside of music. But mm -hmm. as far as music goes, yeah. I'm just focusing on releasing singles right now mm -hmm. and just, you know, building a stronger fan base with the music. Because I do have a fan base, but I feel like it's the crossover. Like, I got to bring them with me. You yeah. know what I'm saying? They like, they love Lejay. The yeah. They love me. They love mm -hmm. my personality. They love me as a mother mm -hmm. and things like that. But I got to bring them with me uh, on a music journey. On this music and, ride. And, <laughs> you know, so far, it's been going good. They love it. That's and, awesome. Yeah, so right now, I'm just focused on releasing these singles and getting my audience together because when I do decide to release a project, I want to have their undivided attention because I'm Focused. not playing. Right. Exactly. <laughs> Tunnel vision on yes. Lejay. Yes. And what, how would you describe your sound um I, I i have a very like gritty voice mm -hmm. naturally so when i rap is very aggressive but uh -huh. i like to have fun i like to play with my words and i like to just you know be myself and, and showcase my my actual personality through my music as much as i can I like that. and yeah that's why i like to write my own music mm -hmm. because i like to be myself and it's like you're not getting something that's not really me you know yeah, what i'm someone saying else right you need to do right. this this and that right. like but that doesn't even that's not that's even not something even i would me. say yeah, right? like, like and then, you know don't get me wrong I, i'm not a liar i'm not gonna be like everything i ever read i wrote it yeah, no like you, you know i got friends like, sometimes yeah. i get um writer's block and mm -hmm. then i and then i get stuck at a bar and i'll, yeah. I'll be like three or four bars away from completing a song and i'm mm -hmm. stuck and i have a lot of people around me that's yeah. creative and you know do music and they're like oh why don't you say this and then it works you know yeah, what i'm saying so like, yeah, but I always cool. love it because I've always put my own twist on it. So it's mm -hmm. still me. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's still very much so me. Just, you know, with a little help. Exactly. So, yeah. There's nothing wrong with a little bit nothing of help. Nothing wrong with it at all. Let everybody know where they can follow your movements, listen to your music, support you, and all that good stuff. Well, you can find my music on Apple Music, Spotify, Tidal, mm -hmm. any um, streaming platform, YouTube. Mm -hmm. And I'm on Instagram, Lejeziana, L-E-Z-H-A-E-Z-E-O-N-A. -E -E mm -hmm. I'm not on Twitter, Facebook, any of that. But yeah, you Like, where does your name come from? Like, is that That's like That's my a... real name. I know. So what yeah. country or what is that? It's actually, <laughs> I'm like, it's what actually a French name. <laughs> yes. Even though I'm not French, I asked my pops, like, what was <laughs> you, you thinking? <laughs> yeah, and he um actually told me, like, you know, like the lingerie, like a negligee. Oh. Oh. And he was like, I, I just took out the neck part, and I just love that Leger. Like, I just That's always so loved super it. Cool. So, it's like, yeah, so I got That's that. That's how people can remember your name, right. Neck Leger, but without the neck. Without the neck, <laughs> yeah. That's how it really came about. My dad told me, wow. and um, my mom, she gave me my middle name is really Ziana. So I just okay. put it together. You know, and that's when... And sounding very international I didn't want to be a little exquisite. corny. You know what I'm saying? I feel like that's a little... I feel like that's a little corny giving yourself a nickname like yeah, Juicy like... Fruit 23 on the gram. Like, nah, I'm, I'm Leger. What you see is what and you get. And it is what it is. Yeah. And then I was like trying to think like, should I have a stage name? Mm -hmm. But then I'm like, that's so corny. I've already accumulated over... Like so many a hundred and something K yeah. followers that know me as a J. So if I come out of nowhere, like, yeah, call me a little bit. It's going to be so whack, <laughs> like, you know, what like, the hell is this <laughs> going on? so corny. So I'm like, I'm not corny like that. And I'm I think keep your it. name is so rare and exquisite that that's what it's I said. perfect. I'm like, Beyonce so. ain't changed her name. Hello. And if Beyonce wasn't Beyonce and you met somebody named Beyonce, you'll be like, like, Beyonce? What the hell is Beyonce? <laughs> right. Exactly. And I'm like, be Beyonce. Right. Right. So, so I want everybody mm -hmm. to sound of my voice. Make sure you follow my girl Ajay's movements, support her music, because I said so. Oh, thank thank you. you so much for stopping by, girl. Thank you for having me. Your girl, Super Cindy, 99 Jams. That was perfect. That was perfect. That was perfect. Yeah.